on Europe, which you are now taking a leading role uh, on the campaign to withdraw from the European Union. How are, you, how are you confident are you feeling about winning this referendum? Oh, nobody can call a referendum. It's difficult enough sometimes to call a general election. Exactly. And, <laughs> and a referendum... As we know from a, a few absolutely. months ago. Absolutely. And referendums are even harder uh, to call. I mean, logically, I don't think he's going to do this. Logically, of course, David Cameron, the Prime Minister, ought to be campaigning uh, for to leave. Because what he said at the beginning was he was dissatisfied with the European Union as it is. Uh, he wanted a fundamental reform to be enshrined in treaty change and then stay in a reformed European Union. There's not going to be a reformed European Union. There's not going to be a treaty change. In fact, the, what the referendum is going to be about is whether you want to stay in or leave an unreformed European Union. So logically, he ought to say leave. And that is where I am, because if it's unreformed, we don't want to stay in it. So even if the Prime Minister was to get all his renegotiation demands, such as we know them yeah. at the moment, it wouldn't change your mind on coming out? No, because the, uh, if he demanded a lot more and got it, major reforms I've written about, we don't have time to go into them now, uh, which I think would be welcome uh, right across the European Union. It is the elites mm -hmm. and the Euro bureaucracy who are committed to this move to a single United States of Europe and everything ap which app appertains to that. Uh, this is not the view of the majority of the people of Europe, but we can't tell the rest of the countries what to do. Uh, all we can say is what we're going to do. As we get closer to the referendum date, we don't yet know when it will be, but as we get closer to that date once it's announced, in terms of who seem to be the major figure who leads your side of the referendum campaign, if not Nigel Farage, who? Oh, it's certainly not uh, Nigel Farage. You will see. I think uh, I think that the people who want to uh, stay in, they've put up a businessman, uh, uh, not Stuart a, Rose, Stuart Rose, uh, not a particularly captivating mm. businessman. But the prime minister will opinion, lead the campaign. To but he will lead the campaign. So but who I, will be the equivalent? The, the, but the, I have no idea. We shall wait and see. But it certainly won't be uh, Nigel Farage. It's it's not. Uh, I mean, he what? will be an important player. Why not, Mr. Farage? Well, because the UKIP has just one member of parliament. We're a parliamentary democracy, and the majority party is the Conservative Party. All right. Nigel Lawson, thank you for being with us. Thank you.